Well, thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're listening to this, but right now is we're starting a chapter, a new Indian, a topic called Kaas. You know what Kaas means? Anger. anger. This is the talk, this is the Kaas, the anger management shiur. It's going to be a few of them, but today's going to be the first. Hakas he means that all. A person that gets angry is a bad character trait. No, bad. <laughs> right away, straight up. Bad. He says it can get your soul sick. A fellow that I know personally, I know him personally, he's about 57. And he told me the story. He said, <laughs> in Shul once, he was, um, he was in the back, whatever, praying and learning and this and that. And uh, there was a few young kids running around in the back where he was learning and praying. And they were a little noisy. And uh, it was a big, big shul. And he was in the back and he hears them. And it bothered him so much, he got so angry, he started screaming, Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! He chased them out, he told them, get out, and he told them, get out, everybody out! Till they walked outside the shul. When he got outside the shul, he had a heart, literally like a heart attack. They called Hasala on the spot. Oh, you see? They called Hasala on the spot. As you see, I'm right, right there. <laughs> like, ah! Even the flowers had a heart attack. <laughs> that. Drop that. So he says that, that, that he had a heart attack right on the spot. They get him. He fell out in the coma. It's all right, let's just leave it there. He fell out in the coma. I don't even know why he's even there. You know what, maybe put it on the table. Put it on the table. On the table itself. On the table itself so we don't have any bayot. See, the flowers got scared. It fell. <laughs> It's crazy. Anyways, so what happened was, he had a heart attack, this, this, that. Three months he was in the hospital. He was unconscious. Unconscious. Could it, he was on a, on, on a machine, unconscious. You ever hear of David Ozeri? David Ozeri is a rabbi. He came to him, he screamed in his ear. You want to get up? <laughs> the guy moved a little bit like this. Oh, the doctor said, oh, yes, yes, yes. He got up. And when I spoke to him, he told me, you should just know, it was crazy, it was the anger, it was this, it was that. So anger can get you physically sick. People can have heart attacks when they get crazy anger. You knew that? Jack, you knew that? You know people can get heart attacks when they get angry? It's crazy. That happened in many, by the way, I had another story about this, Julie. He was screaming another guy, he had a heart attack. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah. It's crazy. So besides the halakha aspect, how a person shouldn't be getting angry, but the inyan of health. You want to be healthy, right? You get angry, it, it, the adrenaline starts pumping in your whole body, the enzymes and the, and the, and the secretions of the, of the inner body changes. <laughs> yeah, it, it goes haywire. It goes physically haywire. And as I say, he says, even not only your body, but it affects your neshama. You hear that? The rabbis teach us. Anybody who gets angry, all types of gehinam is, is controlling him. There's no worse than gehinam. I was reading yesterday in Havas Haim Sefer. I have it over here. I'll show it to you word for word. There was a story how he was hearing there was a student of the Gaon Mavilna. And the Gaon one time gave a description of Shi'ur about Gehenam. Gehenam, Gehenam. And he said over there, he said, Oh, what this Farim said. And all the Sefarim, like the Sefarim Musar, what they say about Gehinam, 
they're just, they're not even touching the tip of the tsar and the pain and the suffering. They're not even touching the tip. You know? Yeah, he said that, that. When I went to him, he millions. They're not touching the tip. They go over from the student. The next day, he didn't come to the Gaon Shi'ud. Yeah, where, 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 where's the, where's the, where's the Talmud? Rabbi, he he threw up all night. So why he throw up? Because he spoke about Gehenna. I'm so scared. He's so scared. <laughs> he said, forget it. He can't live properly. By the way, one of the things that we don't know in this world, the strictness of the judgment after 120 is so strict. If you would know how strict it would be, you wouldn't be able to live normally. You wouldn't. It's just impossible. So you'd, pop, you'd be like this all day long, shaking. 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 Like, I'm talking about real shaking. I'm serious. Think I'm sketching? Serious thing. So, but the God said, one thing I'll tell you, that it takes a lot when a person has, has a lot of inconveniences in his life. <coughs> that itself has a kapara of the avon. It takes a lot. It takes away from the from the Onish Kehinab. You understand? Today, you realize I have like a cold, stuffiness, sinus, I don't know what it is. And I don't have, I never have, I don't have any allergies, never happens. It's a sub almost. You know, it's not like I didn't wear a jacket in the winter, I got sick. It's in the summer, who has a, who has a cold in the summer? You know, I'm telling you, no, a stuffy nose, I can hardly breathe. <laughs> you know? Kabbalah Tavarot! It's discomforting, but I know a lot of avero, avero, ah, wiping, wiping clean. Thank you. You want to suffer in the next world? Who wants to suffer in the next world? So Hashem and His great kindness, He gets people discomforted. How many times it happens? You have your parking, you have your driveway. You're coming in late at night. Came back from a wedding, it's one o'clock in the morning, and you see that guy blocking a driveway. <laughs> you go circling around, this guy blocking my driveway. And instead of breaking his window and slashing his tires, he's like, come on, I don't to try to find the parking. You know what I'm talking about? One time I parked somewhere, a little bit, I blocked his driveway a little bit. I was in the car. <laughs> the guy came, I was with somebody, one of the guys in the shul. The guy came, he, you're blocking my driveway? A little bit. He got on my block, three doors down from me. He says, if you park here, I will literally slash your tires. <laughs> I left. People get crazy. They get literally crazy. You know? They get literally crazy. You ever see, like, he blocks an inch. The driveway is this big. He can fit three cars, but you block this driveway an inch. He puts a sticker on the front window. Don't block my driveway. And he makes sure you see it. So he puts it on the side window. And the other side, you all, you know what happened? Parade of love. Well, it's crazy. Instead of going crazy about it, instead of getting angry about it, what do you do? What do you do? Kamarata Volot. Kamarata Volot! It's taking away the Gehinnam. You don't want the next world, the punishment of the next world. You don't want it. You don't want it. Hashem is giving you the kapara. Why are you getting angry? Why are you getting angry? Why are you getting angry? I remember one time I saw there was a lady. She got a uh, brand new dress. Brand, brand new dress from the cleaners for a, for a Sabbath, for a Shabbat, for a Kiddush. And there was a waitress that, you know, like they're holding the, the trays. You know what the uh, machshi is? You know? I'm serious, I saw this. They had a liquid, a little bit of liquid. And as she's, the lady's serving, this lady had a, a, like a white, fancy, schmancy, right? Huh? She dripped, the waitress dripped on the, on the dress. It killed the dress. This lady got up. She made shechita on the waitress. Ah, oh, you're crazy. You're nuts. What do you do? You don't know how to do nothing. Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. Kill her. Forget about it. I was like, Baruch Hashem, I'm not that waitress. You're crazy. And I'm not that husband either, Baruch Hashem. 
<laughs> crazy, literally, literally crazy. Why? She didn't realize this concept. That what? At the end of the day, nothing should anger you. Everything's from Borei Olam. It was an accident. And think about the kaparata Avonot she would have had. Think about the kaparata Avonot she would have had. Think about it for a second. Going crazy? Calm it down. Kaparata Avonot. No problem, lady. It's a mistake. Accidents happen. No problem. Go on. I got this. You understand? Yeah, it works. Or no. it. You hear that one? I was back home with Yaya Yosef once. If you don't want to me with tissue, please, over there. I was by home with Yaya Yosef once. And um, I heard this from him personally. On his story. I, I remember two stories from Chavad Yosef. You want to hear them? I'll tell to you. I'll tell you one. How's that? I'll tell you one. All right, you know what? Maybe I'll tell you two. Listen. This is the story of his Haim. One day they still have his Haim, the happiest guy. They're like, you look happier than ever. Why are you so happy? They ask him, why are you so happy? You're like, oh, he's so happy. So he says, let me explain. Today, as I was walking, I tripped over my overcoat and I fell down a whole stairs in front of a group of kids. And the kids started pointing their finger at me, laughing at me. I got so embarrassed. And that's why I'm, the, I'm, I, I, that's why I'm glowing. He says, what? <laughs> what? He said, that's why I'm glowing. So said, why? Oh, yeah, Yosef said this story. I heard it with his own ears. Okay? And he said, he got kaparat avonot. I mean, of course, Chavetz Haim, I don't know what Avera he ever did in his life, but whatever it is, he's saying to himself, I got kaparat avonot. Imagine? Think about it for a second. If somebody does wrong to you, what do you do? The first thing you flip out of the guy. I'm crazy, you're crazy. What are you crazy? What does Chavetz Haim do? Okay, Allah, kaparat avonot. And he went on with his life. He was the happiest guy. The next time somebody wrongs you, swallow it up. Say, Kabarat Davonot. It's hard. I know it's hard. Ask any, you want. Ask any prayer you want. It's a hard swallow, right? It's a pill. It's like, you have, like this, right? You see that I have like a little bit of cold? Yesterday, somebody told me, take garlic and swallow garlic like that. He's like, yeah? Never did it. You ever did it before? You know how painful that is? I'm like, oh! Take it Chew it. I mean, I mean, sorry, I sorry, I did I, I, sorry, I did chew it. I did chew it. I didn't swallow. Chew it. I chewed it. Chew galaxy. Oh my goodness, that's crazy, crazy, crazy. But guess what? After it did clear up. It cleared up my throat right away. Ah, it's like a But it hurt. It hurt. It hurt as well. To chew it swallow it's pretty hurt. Like, you know, like like that. But what? Two seconds later, it was clearing up. It helped me. Oh, we had the same thing. A guy did wrong to you. Or somebody did wrong to you. Very wrong. You're about to go blow up anger. Scream at him. What do you do? Swallow the pill. Swallow the pill. The kaparata varot pill. Kaparata varot. And smile. No problem. All good. You gave me kaparata varot. I'm not going to get angry. Wow.